Watch this incredible footage, Nez Nation, of Nathan American Pie Wade, Fannie Willis's lover and special prosecutor who started this whole drama in the beginning, visibly panic, walk off set. He is actually pulled off set by his handlers when asked a very simple question. Check this out. What is your current relationship with the district attorney? Uh, just as outlined uh, earlier, we are great friends. We, we speak regularly. Um, you know, the conversation has changed, though, you know, whereas before we're, our conversations were about this case. Um, you could, I'm sure you could imagine and appreciate the amount of time that it takes that, you know, you have to pour into uh, a case uh, trying to, uh, a case of this magnitude trying to prosecute those defendants. But um, our conversations have shifted to um, how are you, how are you handling uh, the, the threats that are coming your way, are you being safe? Um, and, you know, democracy, w w the case will live on kind of thing. Just to clarify, when did the re romantic relationship between the two of you start? Yeah, so, y you know, we get into, uh, there's been this effort to, 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 to say that, okay, these, these exact dates are, 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 are at issue and these exact dates are, I'm getting, I'm getting signaled here. Yeah, take it. You want Everything okay? Yeah. Just to revisit the question, it was to clarify when the romantic relationship started and when it ended. Sure. So, you know, I believe that the, the public has, um, through, uh, through the testimony and other uh, interviews, the public has a, a, a clear snapshot that this is clearly just a distraction. Um, it is not a, a relevant issue in this case. And I think that we should be focusing on uh, more of the facts and the indictment in the case. Well, I ask because obviously this is, it's still a pending matter. It's going to be before the Court of Appeals. And you talked about how proud you were of all the work that, that you did in this office. And I think the question that people have when they hear from the Court of Appeals. It's a simple question. When did it begin? When did it end? This is literally the crux of the entire disqualification and why the appellate courts have agreed to hear this interlocutory appeal by the pit bull, Trump's lead defense attorney, Steve Sadow, is because you guys lied under oath. Fannie Willis committed perjury. Your relationship is a conflict of interest. How can you not answer this very, after all this hubaloo, after all this chaos, why can't you answer the simple question? When did it start? When did it end? If you're on the side of truth, if you're on the side of honor, like you keep uh, saying that you are, this should be an easy, easy answer. You shouldn't have to consult with anybody. Appeals, this isn't happening until next spring, is did the relationship jeopardize that work that you did and this investigation? And, and therein lies the issue. Um, why we wouldn't touch upon the, the work of the Court of Appeals or some higher court because it's a pending issue before them. I think that we should allow them, take a, a step back and allow them to take the evidence that they have um, and, and do their work, make the decision. Right, but you did testify to this and you were asked about, on the stand about when it started and when it ended. It just wasn't completely clear because before it said, before the indictment, which is August 15th here in Atlanta. And then later the answer was 
at the end of, of that year. And so I think that was the, the clarity that people were seeking of, of when it started and when it ended. Sure. And uh, there again, there's a, there's a question before the court. Um, and that is the crux of the question. I, I don't choose to say or do anything that would jeopardize it's a um, simple the case question. Or the court's ruling. I prefer to allow them to make their decision based upon what they have um, and, and, and accept it. Do you believe, as you reflect on this, that your relationship with the district attorney was a mistake? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, it's American Pie. Is this whole conversation is a distraction. That's all. It's a, it's a tool to, to stop the train, to slow down the inevitable, which is um, the trial of the defendants named in the election interference case. Do you believe the trial ultimately happens? Absolutely. Absolutely it happens. He seems fairly confident that this trial will uh, end up going to a court. And he's talking about the Georgia, uh, in like uh, the so-called Georgia election interference case that's been uh, um, brought upon the uh, former President Trump, as well as 18, 19, God knows how many other co-defendants. We had Harrison Floyd on our show who's a co-defendant. Uh, you know, you've got uh, Ashley Merchant is one of the attorneys for Michael Rowan, who's a, a co-defendant. She's going to be on our show, by the way. Um, it's a simple question i mean i just really quickly before I, I i get into you know how much i this just boils my you know blood does this make you feel does this instill more trust in the fulton county da's office this interview with nathan american pie wade or does it do the opposite do you feel he's telling the truth let me know in the comments do you feel like he's lying um you know what i think i think he's a capital lad he's a lion ass dog it's a very, very simple question. If you're on the side of truth, if you've got nothing to hide, if you believe in transparency, which is what Fannie Willis's office keeps uh, purporting in every single advertisement, political campaign, website uh, advertisement, etc., whatever, all of her PR, she keeps advocating. We are the party. We are the people who are for the people, transparency, honesty, righteousness, and they're just coming after us because we're black. She keeps saying that over and over again. It's a race thing. Has nothing to do with truth, justice, miscarriage of justice, all the lies, the forfeiture of funds, stealing funds from youth programs, taxpayer dollars that should have gone towards youth programs to help youth. And what did you do instead? You went and bought a brand new MacBook. You went to Aruba, Jamaica, Ooh, I'm going to make you into a prison suit with your lover boy, American Pie Wade. You paid him almost a million dollars, which he's not even qualified for even half that salary, which completely denotes a conflict of interest. And you're for the people. You're for truth. And you got your lover boy live on air. He has to get trotted out by a political PR, his PR consultant guy. He's st ab 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 stumbling. I don't, you know, I don't know. People think of those dates as an issue. Ab 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 ab. It's a simple question. If it's if I mean, you know, I, I keep going back to what my grandfather used to say. Always tell the truth. It's easier to remember when you have to scratch and claw on that cranium of yours, Nathan Wade, to try to find an appropriate politically motivated, um, slick, snaky, oily response like that you're not telling the truth you sir are an lad a lion ass dog period just more pollution more smears more dirt more smut more garbage piling on the fanny willis district attorney's office which is an office of chaos mayhem toxicity uh, ethical violations, criminal conduct, false allegations, limelight chasing, highlighting and, and denying actual people, the citizens of Fulton County, their rights, their day in court, because you're chasing high profile cases like the Young Thug case, which has proven to expend an exorbitant amount of taxpayer funds and resources. And there's there's no idea when that's going to complete. It's being run in such a clown circus uh, uh, manner. It's almost 
like I'm watching an SNL skit. Everything that you're denied, you've got a backlog of tens of thousands of cases from poor Fulton County residents. That's the, the real tragedy of this. You know, I, I have fun with Cash Money G and I have fun with this office and, um, you know, uh, I, I poke fun. But, you know, in all, uh, just to, to really put this in perspective and adopt a little bit of gravity, just to kind of uh, uh, communicate the gravity of this, people's lives are being upended. Amanda Timpson is a whistleblower who worked with Fannie Willis. She came on our show. Fantastic interview. Go on our channel and check that out. Whistleblower of, of Fannie Willis's office. It's an amazing interview. She divulged things she didn't tell anybody else. It was unreal. I stood there listening like this the whole time. She had seven security officers take her out. She's a buck 20 wet. She had seven security guards take her out when she was trying to do the right thing and warn Fannie Willis that the money that's supposed to go to this youth program is being diverted and Fannie Willis fired her because she was trying to do the right thing because she caught Fannie Willis. Her life has been an absolute disaster. She can't get hired. She's had to work at positions that were way below her qualification and her ethical, uh, uh, her ethos, her credibility level just so she can make ends meet. She's a single mom. Never mind the thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Fulton County residents that have been duped by Fannie Willis, Nathan Wade, Judge Glanville, the entire church uh, uh, powerhouse infrastructure that's backed Fannie Willis. They've all been duped and they have waited years to get their day in court so they can seek justice. But she's too busy chasing the limelight. She's too busy chasing Trump. She's too busy chasing uh, the Rico case with Young Thug, which is literally an endless labyrinth headed nowhere. So it's just, uh, it's really, it's really a serious matter. And it just pains me and makes me so upset. You got people like Katie Collins shaking this schmuck's hand. You've got people like Rachel Madcow praising Fannie Willis for her unceasing courage and unflinching determination. What an absolute farce shame on you shame on you woke media shame on you cnn for endorsing this catastrophe a calamity of the highest order which upends all of the trust the american public has in the criminal justice system shame on you i turn this off to you nez nation i want to hear from you what do you think of that interview again i've said this many times i believe in america i believe that america is a meritocracy that was, that's what makes america great the best idea wins it's not about my idea your idea prove me wrong am i wrong let me know in the comments say nez you're wrong tell me how i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong about fanny maybe i'm wrong about nathan wade let me know but i want to hear from you so please please let me know in the comments smash that thumbs up hit it tap it Put your finger, if you're watching this on cell phone, click if you're watching on TV. If you're watching anywhere on your tablet, click that thumbs up. It really, really helps us so we can reach more people, educate more people. Our channel is educational in nature so we can make informed decisions. When we make informed decisions, we all benefit from that. We all benefit as a society from that. So please tap that thumbs up. Check out these videos coming up on the screen down there. Uh, subscribe and follow. Subscribe to our free newsletter in the pin comment and show notes. And as always, God bless you and may God bless America. I'll see you soon.